Welcome to this WHW video of flask customization for pourable acrylic. You can purchase a custom made flask like this one, which is just like a standard duplicating flask, but with the addition of three holes in the back to allow access to your pour channels. Some have lugs on them where you can attach an elastic band for security and some like this one have a magnet in the base compatible with articulator systems and some have channels for boiling out your teeth to prevent you mixing them up. This is something you would miss when you do flask customization. I find the use of small tea strainers like this very useful to prevent you mixing the teeth up before you put them back in the mould. So today we're going to customise a standard duplicating flask. What you'll need to consider as flasks vary in heights and shapes is where an average model will sit once it's raised by the base lip. I've measured this one and you can see I've made three circles on the rear using a five pence piece which is the ideal size. These holes can then be cut out using a tri cutter or similar acrylic burr. So now we can cut out the holes using the tri cutter. Do the same with the other two and then transfer to a larger acrylic burr to smooth out the holes and take them right to the line. So once the holes have been opened up and smoothed we can make a bung to cover all of the holes whilst we're pouring in the silicon or the agar. I'm using Zeta Labor lab putty from Zermac, which is a nice hard lab putty with an 85 shore. So roll that into a sausage. And just gently place it over the holes. Don't push too far because you'll lock it in. It's helpful to put a little this way up arrow on the putty because it's very unlikely your holes are all going to be exactly the same size and the same spacing and just let that set. <laughs> 